Hey folks, Jim Hansen. We are in gorgeous Manchester, New Hampshire. Why? Because there's someone you should know. That guy right there, General John Stark, author of one of the most famous phrases and the greatest state motto that exists, live free or die. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. General Stark grew up around here. His boyhood home's right over there. When he was young, he was out hunting one time with his brother and some friends, and he and one of his buddies got captured by some Indians. Now they were forced to run the famous gauntlet, where they had to go through two lines of Indians with sticks, ready to beat the crap out of them. <laughs> yeah, John Stark wasn't having that. He grabbed a stick from one of the first Indians and beat the crap out of him. <laughs> yeah, that impressed the chief enough that they adopted him into the tribe and let him go come springtime. During the French and Indian War, he fought with Rogers Rangers, and we all know where they stand in the annals of American badassery. He retired from that conflict with the rank of captain. Now, when it came time in the course of human events for one group to sever ties with an oppressive tyrant, John Stark helped spin up the 1st New Hampshire Regiment, which he commanded as they proceeded to kick redcoat ass all over the Northeast. He fought at the Battle of Bunker Hill, and took the weakest spot in the line where his men repelled three charges. The first one, they dropped 90 Hessians with the first volley they fired. They held the line. He's most famous for the Battle of Bennington. His untested, untrained, recently raised New Hampshire troops killed several hundred while losing only 14 killed and 42 wounded. Now it's tough to top a quote like live free or die, but that wasn't his best. At that Battle of Bennington, when things were looking bad for the home team, he inspired his troops with the quote you can read on that side of the statue. It says, tonight our flag flies over yonder hill or Molly Stark sleeps a widow. <laughs> That's the kind of guy you'd follow into battle. So thanks, General Stark. We will live free or die every day of our lives. That's America. This is Jim Hansen, and that's someone you should know. And if there was ever someone more deserving of the V for victory, it's that guy on the horse.